much more compact. This is the, that is the size comparison. There we go. Much more compact. This compact design is a lot better. I love it. I really do. So what we're going to do today is we are actually going to unbox this Makita deal that's going on with a brand new hammer drill along with my favorite impact driver that is ever made. All right, so this kit together costs $400. Uh, if you buy this kit, you get two 5-amp hour batteries for free. And you also get this drill driver kit as well. All right, so this is a great deal. Now, this hammer drill is brand new. I'm extremely excited about it. All right, so the model number for this kit is XT288T. And uh, I was excited about it. You know, like you cannot buy the hammer drill separately right now. You can only get it in this kit, but the hammer drill is going to cost $150 or $160, I believe, tool only. And so, yeah, so they, Makita finally upgraded their hammer drill. The older hammer drill is actually, a, a, I think it's six years old. So they finally upgraded their big hammer drill, and it's time to test that out and see how that actually is. Also going to test out the impact driver as well. All right, so just so you guys know, this channel is like a series. We are going to do major testing on this in the future as well against other brands. I continue to do these versus videos to see what brand eventually fails first. All right, so more testing is going to be coming of both of these tools in the future, so please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be notified of future videos, so please tune in. So let's unbox this kit. Let's still get the specs and test them out and see how these actually are. Alrighty. So just so you guys know, this is the older version. I believe this is six years old. This is model number XPH07. And this one is, I think, 14. So let's un I'm excited about this hammer drill. I'm really excited about it. We will be using the new bits that I just got with the kit. Uh, we, we will be needing 5 sixteenths. First, uh, we are going to do the log, then we're going to do some sp uh, spade bits, see how well this can do. But for this test, we're going to do a few timber locks, a few lags, and see on how well this performs. Battery, like I said, battery is full. This I love how compact this is. So let's put it on drill. All right, so first let's do a, t a single timber lock. Let's see how well this does. We'll try it on, we'll do it on speed two. I'm excited about this one. I really am. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. That was all right. That was all right. That, that seemed, to, that did seem a little slow. That did seem a little slow. Right, let's take it out. Ready, go. Time. All right, for this I have to use a Hilti nut setter bit because I do. that's the only size I have for the specs. That's not destroyed. Oh yeah, let's, just, let, let's see if this, let's see if you click back one if it locks. Yes, it does. Click back one to lock it. That ain't coming out for nothing. Let's do it this uh, six inch specs. All right, ready? Much, I love this handle, much better handle, much better. Ready, go. Time. Not too shabby. It is on speed two. All right, take it out, ready, go. All right, so next let's do the let's do a, a lag. We'll get, let's do a four inch and a six inch, and let's we'll see if we can do a ten inch if it does those ones well. We will be using a a half a quarter inch hex to a half inch adapter, a Makita. All right, I, for this I'm not going to lock it because just in case if it's a bit too much, it'll just destroy the maybe the chuck because that's one thing that the older Makita model had trouble with. It had trouble with the chuck. So let's see and how well this does. Try a four inch lag first. All right, so we're good to go. Right here is good. Ready, go. Time, it did it. Let's take it out. 
Ready? Go. Easy. One hand. One hand. All right, let's try the six inch. Let's see how well the six inch does. Right here is good. All right, ready? Go. There we go. Up oh, a little bit more. It's capable. Of, oh, it's capable of doing it though. It did it. That's a hard task. All right, ready? Go. Awesome. That is very good that it's able to do that. That is very good that it's able to do that. All right, let's see if it could next. Let's see if it could do a one and a quarter inch speed bore. Then we're going to do one and a half inch speed board. Now remember this channel, like I said before, this is not the only video that this is going to be in. So please subscribe to the channel, you guys. This uh, YouTube channel is like a series. We do more testing on tools instead of just one video. Like that's why I have so many tools that we continuously test these tools to see which, what craps out at a certain time. This is pretty much just an unboxing video. All right, one and a quarter inch, speed two. Ready, go. No problem. All right, so let's do the one and a half inch speed bore. This one, this is a hard task to do on speed two. I'll be impressed if it can. I'll be very impressed if it can. All right, so ready? Go. Ooh, nope. It can. It failed. It failed. This requires speed one to do. Uh, this requires speed one to do it. But we're gonna see if it could do it still. We'll give it an another shot. Because when it comes to this type of stuff, I don't want to see it fail. If it fails, it fails. But I want to see if it could do it one more time. Give it one more shot. Ready? Go. Nope. Cannot. It requires speed one. All right, continue. Unfortunately, it requires speed one. It is a compact tool, you guys. It's not doing bad at all for a compact tool. You know, just like, just like I got the, the compact Hilti tool. Is this one as powerful as its bigger brother? No but I have a feeling that neither is this. It, this is a brand new tool, but it's a lot, a lot more compact than its bigger brother, older brother, but it's, it's still pretty powerful for what it is. You know, it, I'm happy with it, but I do see a versus video coming in the future. So even the new Ryobi compact tool, you know, the compact tools aren't bad at all. You know, like they're powerful for the size that they are and yeah, uh, compact tools a compact tool, you guys. You know, so I love compact tools and 12 volt tools. All right, so next let's test out the hammer drill feature. We are gonna use speed two. We're, we're gonna do one hole and we're gonna do a pre-drill hole actually. Let's see how well this actually works. I wanna save some of the, some of the testing for versus videos. All right, so here we go. Ready, go. Time enough for me. That's good. Yeah, uh, Fakita does have its own unique smell of the motor. Let's see how far that got. Yeah, pretty much to the chuck. Very good. All right, now it's time to test out the impact driver. 
The collet is a quick insert. You do not need to adjust it to put the collet in. I love this impact driver. Alrighty, so for, for with this, we're only gonna do a, I already did a few videos on this with this, so I'm, I'm only gonna do a six inch lag and an eight inch timber lock. So let's uh, do the lag first. Actually, let's do the timber lock first because that's a quicker test. Like I said, the collet is quick insert. You do need to adjust the collet to take it out though. But to install it, just a push in. Right here is good. All right, so up oh, the battery is full. Ready? Sound speed four. Ready? Go. Not too shabby. Like I said, you could adjust the speed like that. You could, like, there's a bunch of modes on here. We're, we'll make another video on that, but I just want to show you the power that this has. This, this, this and the Rigid need a more detailed video of the tool by itself because of the options you have on the, on the tool. So let's put it back to mode four. All right, ready? I love, this thing is awesome. Ready? Go. Time. All right, let's do the six inch lag. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Done. It did it. It did it with it did it with ease. It seriously did it with ease. It's not it's not that loud. It's not that loud of an of an impact driver. And yeah, I I highly recommend you get this impact driver. I love the crap out of this thing. This is my go-to impact driver. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Time, time, time. And it does come with a bag. It does come with a Makita bag. That is the handle. And it has a measurement stop, so you know the depth of when you're driving in uh, concrete, you know when to stop. That, that looks smaller, too. I like that. That is much more compact. Look at that. That is much more compact. This is the... That is a size comparison. There we go. Much more compact. Now I'm wondering if we're going to have more power with the size or less power. Only one way to find out, please subscribe to the channel. We are going to do a versus video against these soon. Very soon. But this thing is awesome. I like that. So this is model number XPH14. We'll go over the specs in a second. This, this tool looks awesome. Yeah, when it comes to the Hilti, uh, they're about the same size, the Hilti Compact. So we'll see and how powerful this is in this video. I'm curious. The battery is dead. Comes with a five, a two five amp hour batteries. We gotta put that on charge. Luckily, I already have two five amp hour batteries that are ready to go. That is nice, I like that. I like that. All right, so yes, this is model, the impact driver is model number XD, XDT16. So it is the same, the same model as my previous one. That this is my favorite impact driver. I love this thing. We'll go over the specs and how this works uh, in a second. Battery is dead. Luckily, I have another five amp hour battery. Very good. This is my this I love this impact driver. This this seriously this hammer drill looks so awesome. It looks so awesome. So then it comes with two bell clips, which we'll we'll, we'll put those on. And the and of course instructions and a charger. The charger is mount. It, I guess it is a rapid charger. It is DC18RC. 
And so, yeah, uh, 18 volt, 14 to 18 volt, I guess, but not 12 volt. That's one thing I think Makita should do is make these tools, make these uh, uh, chargers 12 volt and 18 volt. That's what I think. And then after that, the box is recycling. And of course, this, this did come with two more 5 amp hour batteries. I got these for free along with the kit. And also the 45 piece XPS, which these are Hilti and Makita make the best, in my, in my strong opinion, Hilt, Makita number one, Makita is the number one drill bit set that you can get. Next is uh, Hilti. I'm not a fan of Milwaukee uh, bits or DeWalt or Ryobi. Uh, rigid bits, I have not tested out, so I do not know. But for what I tested so far, uh, Makita's number one, Hilti's number two. These XPS impact rated bits are amazing. So yeah, so even if you're a Milwaukee or DeWalt fan or right Ryobi, I highly recommend Makita bits or Hilti. So these are just batteries. We do not need to unbox these. Uh, I'm actually going to give that to my give that to my friend because I have plenty of batteries. All right, so let's go over the specs of these really quick and see how these actually are. Alrighty, so for the hammer drill, this is model number XPH14. It is two speeds, 22 point clutch plus two. Sorry, 21 point clutch plus two, which the plus two is hammer and drill. Anything outside of that is just screw. Fully metal half inch chuck. This feels good. I like that. This compact design is a lot better. I love it. I really do. All right, on speed one, this goes to 500 RPM. On speed two, 2100 RPM. Uh, speed one, 8,250 beats per minute or blows per minute, if you will. Uh, speed 2, 31,500 beats per minute. Uh, peak torque is 1,200 inch-pounds. Overall length is 7 inches, and the tool is 6 pounds. I do not know if that's with the battery or with just tool only. And so, yeah, this is a bad man pajama. Of course, a brushless motor. Two LEDs on the front underneath the truck. And, yeah, I love this design. This design is seriously, seriously wicked. One more time, let's go... Let's go neck uh head to head against the other one major size difference major size difference so i'm curious if this uh if this is more powerful than that or if it's the same the same Alrighty, and like i said when it comes to the impact driver this is my favorite impact driver that's that's made right now it has two leds on the side and this ring right here actually glows in the dark so you can find your tool in, in the dark this is model number XDT16. Uh, this is a lot of speed settings, actually. So this has four modes and a four-mode selector assist mode, two tightening modes, reverse rotation, and auto stop mode. All right, now, and also what I love about this impact driver, to change the speed to change the speed setting, you don't need to hit this. You just go, uh, you hit this right here. And I'm not sure if you guys can see. As you can see, it is changing the speed mode. So that's what I love about this impact driver. You actually don't need to do this. You just push the little button right there. And you can change the speed mode. So it's awesome. On mode 1, 1100 RPM. Mode 2, 2100 RPM. Mode 3... 3200 RPM on mode 4, 3600 RPM, and uh, mode 1, this goes to 1100 impacts per minute, mode 2, 2600 impacts per minute, mode 3, 3600 impacts per minute, and mode 4, 3800 impacts per minute. Quarter inch collet, uh, 1600 inch pounds of torque, overall length is 5, of, sorry, 4 and 9 sixteenths, and 3.4 pounds. I love this tool. I seriously do. I love this. This is my favorite impact driver. All right, Makita did good on this when it comes to the, the handle. Look how long this handle is. This thing is huge. They made a short one. So you will have a lot more control on your tool when it comes to the handle now. Look at the overall length of the handle now. It is significantly smaller. The original handle is 16 inches long. And the new handle is 
12 and a half inches long. So that is significantly better. You'll have a lot more control with your hand, with the new handle. So now that you guys saw on how these actually work, I hope this helps your, your purchase if you wanted to get it or not, or if you think what you already have is good enough. But yeah, but this little, but this compact hammer drill is amazing. Not bad for a compact tool. You know, uh, I, uh, Versus video is going to come up in a little bit versus the bigger brother to see if there really is a huge uh, power difference between the two. Or now, like I said, this is not the only video that we're going to do of this tool. We are going to do this uh, in the future against other brands to see how it performs against them and do more of a torture test to see if the motor gives out. Like I said, it's a $400 kit. Comes with two five amp hour, two extra five amp hour batteries and uh, a drill bit kit, a drill driver bit kit. So, so it's good. And I love and how they, what they did with the new handle. This is so much better. This is so much better than the original handle because the other one's too long. You know, you just couldn't have control because your arms are too spread out. So this is a much better control. So good job on Makita on the new handle. So now I'm going to officially say because of this handle, Makita makes the best handle uh, because the, the, uh, how tight this is and the design on how thickness it is as well. Now it's the proper length. So this is now my favorite handle uh, for a hammer drill. This is awesome. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.